Hello, ARC Foundations, or anybody else who happens to be watching this. Right now we're going to be talking about two-point perspective windows and doors. As you can see, I've already got my cube drawn up here and most of my errors or my extended lines taken care of. We started with a vertical line. From the top of that vertical line and the bottom, I drew to my right vanishing point and I drew to my left vanishing point. So that's the best place to start. With this exercise, what I'd like you to do is start with your horizon line toward the middle, place your vanishing points at the very outside edge of your picture plane. Remember that we've got five, six rules of thumb to that. One horizontal line, vertical lines are vertical, diagonal lines go to your vanishing points. We also have, uh, you make sure you draw in pencil. I believe rule number four is always use a ruler. And the last rule of thumb is that your vanishing points are at the very outside edge of, if not off of, the picture plane. Now would be a good time to pause this video, get this cube drawn out, a cube that is in the middle of the page, goes beneath and above your horizon line. Go ahead, pause that, Make sure you label it just like this. As soon as you've got that done, press pause again and we can start. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw a window. Now rather than worrying about exactly where on here, you know, up at the top or down at the bottom, we're just going to begin by putting a vertical line somewhere on that side of the, uh, the first vertical line. So somewhere on the left side of your building or your cube, we're going to draw in a single vertical line. So dropping a line in vertically, it does not touch the top, it does not touch the bottom. It's somewhere within that space. The next line we're going to draw in, where do you think we're going to draw it to? It's going to be a diagonal line, so it has to go to one or the other of our vanishing points. Because it's on the left side of the building, it's going to go to your left vanishing point. Now, this is important. I'm drawing in marker. You're probably drawing in pencil. I'm going to draw my line big but I'm going to stop before I get to the back edge of my building. I'll repeat from the top of my first vertical line. And again, I'll stop before I reach the edge of my building. And now to finish this window, I'm going to drop in a vertical line just like that. I'll take a moment and erase the extra over here and the extra over there. So go ahead and take a moment with your neighbor or if, if you're working in my classroom you're working with a neighbor or on your own draw out one window on the left side of your cube. We'll come back to this in a minute. So pause and then come back. So what we've done is we've drawn one window on this side. We start with a vertical line here. It does not touch the top. It does not touch the bottom. It does not touch the side. We've gone from a vertical line to my left vanishing point. Left vanishing point. I'll label this one right vanishing point because now we're going to draw a door on the right side of this. Doors tend to touch the ground. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a vertical line from the base of my building up but not to the top. Remember vertical lines are vertical so bear with me. I want to make sure that's perfectly straight up and down. Draw a vertical line straight up and down. Eyeballing that pretty good. Now the top of the door frame, well let's look at the bottom of the door frame. The bottom of the door frame is already a diagonal line 
to my right vanishing point. So the top of my door frame is going to be a vertical line to my right vanishing point. Let me just check one thing. I want my window and my door to be the same height. I'm going to put a dot here. That's where this window line would come out here. And so my door frame would line up with that. This is a little more high tech, a little more fancy schmancy than you might be ready for. And that's all right. We'll get to that another time maybe. I've got my diagonal line going to my right vanishing point. I'm going to check this for straightness. Okay, and then I'm going to drop in my line there. So now I have a window that is open and a door that's open. Well, it's actually closed. There's, you can't see into the building yet. And so this is where I'd like to stop for the time being. So go ahead and draw in a vertical, the top of the door frame to your right vanishing point, and then the right side vertical. Go ahead, pause here, and pick it up in a moment. Now unless you're building a building out of paper, which we're not, the door, and we're going to make this an open door, and the window should have some sense of thickness. So what I'm going to do is, I'll start with my, I'll start with my window. Because I'm in front of it and I'm looking at it, I should be able to see a bit of the window sill over here, the side of the window sill the bottom of the windowsill and the top of the windowsill. I'm looking at the front corner. I should be able to see into that space. So from this bottom corner, I'm going to draw to my opposite vanishing point, my right vanishing point, but just a small little tiny line. I'm going to draw it a little bigger than you should just for dramatic purposes. See it right there? And I'm going to do the same thing from the top corner. I'm going to draw that to my right vanishing point, the back left corner, up left corner, to my right vanishing point. I'm going to draw that in. These are thick walls. This must be a must be a school or a we'll go with the school. And now what am I going to do? I have to draw the back edge of that. So I'm going to draw in a vertical line. So go ahead and do that. Draw in my vertical line to finish that up. This is the thickness of the side. This is where things get a little confusing. The top of the window sill should follow the same as the outside top. So the inside top and the outside top should follow the same left vanishing point. So line it up and draw it in. Just like that. And then the same for the bottom. Left vanishing point, bottom back corner, draw that in. So now our building has a sense of thickness. That window is thick. So go ahead, take some time, draw that out, pause here, and come back in a moment. So what we've got here now is we're going to do the same thing here on the door that we did on the window. So to start with, I'm going to go from the bottom right corner, just like we did over here, but the opposite way towards my left vanishing point. So I'll draw that in. I'm going to draw it in much larger, just like I did earlier, so it's easier to see for you. And then I'll do the same thing at the top, from my upper right corner toward my left vanishing point. Just like that. To finish that side of the door frame, I'm going to drop in a vertical line, pardon my back, draw that vertical line in just like that. To finish the top of the door frame, this top of my door frame goes to my right vanishing point, so I'll go from the top inside to line it up with my right vanishing point, but actually draw away. So I bump into that wall. And then from the bottom, 
Again, right vanishing point, I'm going to draw away. Just like the window, I've got a bottom, a bottom, a side, a side, the top of the window frame and the door frame. And so now we're looking into this building. What we're going to do in just a minute is deal with a floor, maybe a ceiling. We'll see what that happens. I might have to bust out a pencil for that one. But go ahead, get a door drawn in. Make sure your window is drawn in. Take a minute, back this up if you have to, but pause, go ahead and draw that in, and then pick it up. The last thing we're going to do today with this is we're going to see if we can draw in a floor, a back wall, and we'll see if a ceiling fits in here at all. Uh, I'll be honest, I already know what's going to work, what's not. This is the front corner. This is the back corner. What I want you to do is from this bottom front corner, I'm going to draw the inside wall that is parallel to this front wall. Now what vanishing point does this wall line up with? It lines up with my left vanishing point. So I'm going to from this bottom corner, go to my left vanishing point, and wherever inside the door, I don't like that marker, wherever inside the door, I can see between the edge of my door frames, I'm going to draw a diagonal, but I'm going to stop. This is the floor. The same thing's going to hold true on the ceiling. From this corner, I'm going to draw the line that would be parallel to this. So from here to my left vanishing point, I'm going to draw in my diagonal. Oh, it's super tiny. Yours might be different. If your door is not big enough or your window is not big enough, you might not see it. But right there is the ceiling, floor, and the wall. The same is going to hold true on this side. If I could, I would draw the floor line from this corner, but let's see what happens. My window is a little bit higher. So if I drew that line in there, the wall, the wall would block my floor. So let's see what happens at the top. From the top corner to my right vanishing point, remember I'm drawing the wall parallel to this wall, because it's on the back, there is my back wall. Somewhere, somewhere behind this portion, and this might be kind of interesting to figure out, somewhere back there, the ceiling meets. So if I have this line here with that vanishing point, and this ruler with the right vanishing point, my walls meet right here. We can't see that because our, well, this part is in the way. But now we know that we could, if I wanted to make this bigger, I could see a line inside there. Now it would be something for you to do on your own if we make this bigger or you try it on your own. So go ahead, pause this. Actually, that's the end of this. Take a look at it. I'd like to make sure that you understand how to do windows, except that that's a door, <laughs> doors, and windows. I want you to make sure you understand the thickness of windows and doors, and I want you to understand how to deal with ceilings, the ceiling line, and the floor line of these buildings. So with that said, I hope you enjoy this. Please remember, rewind. Be kind, rewind. You wouldn't understand that. Everything's DVR and instant movies. And, uh, but go ahead, have at it. Thanks.